I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the European Premier for Creed 3. I'm joined by someone who does actually look like a movie star right now, Richard <laughs> Riangpo. Are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. When are you going to get into Hollywood? What? Say again? When are you going to get into Hollywood? I'm here now. <laughs> I just got in red carpet, man. We're live. <laughs> Looking forward to this film now, Rich? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. You know, um, a lot of people are here. The turnout has been crazy, so I had to come and show up for sure. Talking about a turnout, uh, I've just seen another cruiserweight. Lawrence Coley's here. Oh yeah, everyone is here, man. It's just it's a Royal Rumble scene, man. Yeah, what did you think about that thing you did on Sky Sports the other day, and how did it go down on your end with Lawrence? Yeah, I think you know a lot of people were pretty interested in, in the the back and forth. It wasn't like a proper heated exchange, but it was just more people just trying to. I understand that you know there's a business element of boxing as well, and and one has to take that into consideration. You know, it's not just as simple as just jumping in the ring and fighting. So, you know, people were a lot like really, you know, behind me with that point that I made. And um, but you know, boxing is boxing. You know me, I'm I'm a fighter, so we're gonna get in the ring and fight regardless, as long as the business is right. That's the most important. Thing. From what he was saying, though, it, it, from his end, it does seem like it's as simple as that. Did you get that vibe off him as well? No, it's not as well. Yeah, that's that's the vibe that he you know he put out. But it, everybody knows it's not as simple as that. If it was, we would have seen a lot of fights happen. Do you believe that performance against Glavaki was punch perfect from you? Um, I could have. You know what? If it was, I would have got him out in, in two rounds. I reckon. If it was too, if if it was perfect, I would have got him out earlier. But you know, it's all good because I like getting a bit of rounds when I do my when I when I have my matches. So it's all goes under the experience, the CV. I know you're self-critical, but just watching that as a, as a fan, I thought that was probably your best performance, would you say? Yeah, people said that, people yeah. have said that, you know, but it's crazy because, you know, a lot of people have seen what I'm capable of in and around me every single day, and they know I can do better. To be honest, I actually got grilled. I got grilled when I got back to the room, you know, when I should have done this, I should have done that. And we never, we, we never focused on the win until after we started hearing the feedback, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. But... You know, there's a lot, there's a lot more that we can do, and we will show when the time is right. I forgot to mention actually, Billy Smith's here tonight as well. It's yeah. like a cruiserweight, like yeah, uh, everyone's coming together. Up, yeah, man. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> Re uh, Richard, just get a, a reaction to quickly. Um, if Jake Ball beats Tommy Fury next Sunday, the WBC have said they're going to rank him in the top 15 of their cruiserweight rankings. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> Hey, listen, I don't know what's going on no more. <laughs> you know, I, I actually don't know what is going on no more. You know, it's crazy how boxing has changed so much in, in a small period of time. You know, it's, it's crazy. I, I read that today and I think it's changed the whole dynamics of the sport. I feel soon, soon it's not going to be about, you know, how good you are as a fighter. It's all going to be based on popularity. So all them young, them young aspiring boxers that are watching this, watching this interview, you lot need to take a lot of note because things are going to be different. For you to come up in this game, you, it's going to take a lot more. It's going to take not just boxing skill, but a whole flipping package. And a lot of people are sensing that now. So trust me, watch boxing, you know, from now to the next five years, next 10 years, it's going to be so much different than what it was for us and how we perceived it to be. And um, a lot of people are going to be forgotten about very quickly, unfortunately, by solid like champions. It's all going to be about popularity. Richard, uh, enjoy your night, enjoy the film, and uh, yeah, we'll speak soon, hopefully. God bless. Appreciate Thank you. It. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.